my wife is a carrier for a genetic disease. Is that going to affect our kids? I'm just not like the other kids. It's hard to fit in. I get picked on because I look different. The doctor called. They want to redo my baby's newborn blood test. Why? I want to know enough to make my own health decisions. Are there other kids like me? I know every kid develops differently, but I can't help to notice all the differences that my daughter has when we go to playgroup. I wonder why. I told everybody what was wrong. They all started Googling around and telling me what they found. Now I'm more confused than ever. I want to know what's going on. Hi, I'm Dave Jacob, the founder of Think Genetic. Uh, these questions that you hear earlier in the video about uh, what condition do I have, parents wondering what's wrong with their children, children wondering what's wrong with them, uh, doctors looking for ideas of what's going on, all of those kind of things uh, resonate with me. I'm one of the 350 million people in the world that live with a rare genetic disease. Uh, I was born with a congenital heart problem, turned into congenital heart failure, and I had open heart surgery as a five-year-old, uh, which was successful other than I lost a rib in the surgery, but uh, was told that the prognosis was good and that I could lead a normal life. Uh, unfortunately, my sister, my little sister, was born three months later with the same condition, so that uh, has caused me to think about that for a long time now, wondering, well, what? What is the relationship? Uh, what was inherited? And what will affect my children and grandchildren uh, going forward? As it turns out, they're fine. But in my case, it really is genetic. And now I have developed uh, an aortic aneurysm, which is a part of the, the rare genetic disorder I have, which is called cutis laxa. Uh, as I'm trying to get answers to these questions, uh, I was fortunate that I made my own genetic counselor, Dawn who is my daughter and is on the staff at uh, Emory University in the genetics department. And we decided to start doing the full genetics testing, genome testing, to really see uh, what I had. And that's when it was discovered what the, the actual disease was. So everybody has lots of questions and answers, and not everybody has a genetic counselor at hand or a doctor familiar with these rare genetic diseases. So how do we empower people to learn about their particular condition? Most people never imagined that it would be genetic, nor did I. But it turns out in many cases that it is. So what about my family? What do I need to do? How do I treat this uh, uh, condition that I have? I've been to a lot of doctors. I can't seem to get an answer. and Things keep happening. Uh, and that was kind of the idea behind Think Genetic. So as I was uh, founding Think Genetic, I was trying to figure out how do I get answers to these questions for lots of people. And uh, it turns out that I was able to build a partnership with IBM and their IBM Watson supercomputer that is set up to gather knowledge and answers thing in a much more conversational way than something like Google might do or other search engines. And uh, the second question was, well, how do I train Watson to know about rare genetic diseases? Back to my daughter again. So we formed an alliance with Emory to basically feed in the information that Watson needs to give good, knowledgeable answers about genetic conditions. So the partnership was born about a year ago. Uh, we've now put in over 100,000 questions and answers, and Watson is getting very comfortable talking about rare genetic diseases and giving uh, back very knowledgeable answers, which will help uh, patients, pediatricians, uh, other healthcare providers figure out what the condition is and how to treat it. So it's meant to be a useful tool for everyone connected with uh, the patient as we try and learn ourselves together about all these rare diseases. The other thing we've done with Think Genetic is we have included patient stories for each disease. So once you have an idea of what condition you might have, you want to read a lot more about that condition. You want to know about people that have the condition. And you want to see if their story sounds like your story. Because if it does, then you have a good head start on how to develop treatment and what to talk to your doctor about, your pediatrician, how to get treatment for your children and what you should do uh, to be successful in treating your rare genetic disease. Think Genetic, improving lives and empowering people living with a genetic disease. Visit thinkgenetic.com for more information or to get involved.